team, but they shoot, we the free so check it. It is written, no man may see God and live, yet the scriptures declare that the patriarchs did see, a man or an angel equated with God, so who was it that they saw? Listen, it is written, no man may see God and live, yet the old covenant states times when they did see, a man or an angel equated with God, so who was it that they saw? The is Abraham sent by his tent in the heat of the day, swatting flies and mosquitoes away. He looked up and saw three men meters away in the distance. So he arose and hurried from the entrance of his tent. Then he bent low down to the ground in a position of submission. He voiced his petition. If I have found favor in your eyes, my Lord, I beg of you, do not pass his servant by. But let some water be brought so you can all wash your feet and wait in the shade of the tree as I prepare something to eat. That you may be refreshed when you go on your way. Very well. They answer, do as you say. As they ate the lavish meal, Abraham stood by like a servant waiting to fulfill his master's will. Cause he understood that one of the three was the invisible Lord manifested in physical form. And the scriptures testify that this man, when referring to himself, used the name of the Most High and prophesied that he would return in a year uh -huh. to give Abraham and Sarah a child. And at last it came to pass. So is it really crass to say that God became a man? Uh -huh. And is it contrary to the faith of Abraham? Then who was it that he saw in the afternoon heat, eating bread and meat with dusky feet and all? It is written, no man may see God and live, yet the scriptures declare that the patriarchs did see a man or an angel equated with God. So who was it that they saw? Listen, it is written, no man may see God and live, yet the old covenant states times when they did see a man or an angel equated with God. So who was it that they saw? The Athenians. Check out the Theophanies, Hippolytics Volume 2, in stores near you, coming soon. Baruch Hashem.